I don't have time for so many things that I used to have time for, but I still want to do them. How do I do them? Which is where all of these applications come into play. They make your life easy. They make your life fun. There's entertainment. There's learning. There's utility. Hey guys, welcome back to the review. I have been very, very nice. I'm sending a lot of hugs and falls video to all of you. In today's video, I'm going to be recommending nine applications that are going to be very 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 useful for you as a teenager or as a young adult someone who has just stepped into adulthood and you have no idea what is going on and you have no idea how to navigate your life i have just started doing all this adulting stuff and a lot of things just goes beyond my brain and i'm like what am i supposed to do so i really hope you get amazing app recommendations let's begin the video first application i want to recommend which is a weird one but a very very useful one is blink it blink it is a grocery application you can get all sorts of grocery on it you just order it and it will be delivered to your house within the amount of time that it shows usually for me during the daytime it takes around 25 minutes to 20 minutes to get whatever i want now i am a big going for grocery shopping person i love have to carry my tote bag and get ready for a grocery run and like go outside and buy all the stuff see it all together come back home put it in its place sometimes i also do grocery hauls for my own family like i don't get it i literally get the same thing all the time and i still do hauls for my family because it's just so much fun however given that i want to have a healthy lifestyle but along with that i am busy sometimes and i do not get the time to go out and do it i know for myself that if i don't have the things i need to sustain that health healthy lifestyle i am not going to sustain it i'm just gonna be like oh okay fine let's just forget about it today that's just the kind of person i am which is where blinket is so useful because i go to the fridge and if i don't have soy milk and i'm like oh my god what to do i can just order it on blinket it will be delivered to my house within like a few minutes and i'm all set to go young adults already know the importance of this but even if you're a teenager and you want to have a healthy lifestyle and you get some amount of pocket money blinket can be amazing the delivery charges are minimal at least for me hopefully for you also my teenagers out there obviously it is not necessary but if you do get the time start planning out your groceries you don't have to go outside to get it just get it on the applications you also get discounts on, on the application and start little by little to live a healthy lifestyle because when you become an adult it's going to be amazing for you the next application i want to recommend is saga saga is a fiction application where you can read all sorts of genres but the famous genres and the genres i like are horror romance thrillers they're super fast super easy to read there are three kinds of books that you can find on the application you have novels which are your general novels you have novellas which are which are a shorter form of novels and the best part about the application which you don't get to see often is that there are some books that are divided into seasons and episodes in my head it's kind of like netflix for books obviously novels and novellas are amazing but this new format is so exciting and it is so engaging especially for a person like me what i do is i give myself certain tasks that i want to complete and once that task is completed i can read a certain number of episodes or i can read a certain amount of series and it's a whole other experience of reading obviously nothing can replace the feeling of having books in your hand but given my busy schedule or the busy schedule you have as a teenager or as a young adult where you have so much to do and you don't get the time to read i feel like these episodes and series are very very useful and a lot of fun this horror series which is called when in a myth i read a little bit of it in the daytime it was not that much fun for me but when you read it at night oh my god i just love the kind of atmosphere horror books are able to create for us which is why i want to get more into horror the reason i don't read a lot of horror is because i can only read horror at night i don't read horror in the daytime and my brother is sleeping in the same room at night and which is why i'm not able to read it but because this was on my phone i was able to read it and it was so good so thrilling and pretty scary but also very very disgusting by the way so if you like disgusting stuff then this is an amazing book the next book that i enjoyed a lot was a is in the water now i do not like drama in my own life but i kind of fulfill my drama quotient with like the movies and the series and the books that i read and watch last year i started watching the vampire diaries it is so full of drama vampire content is just so fictional and amazing and thrilling but at the same time so filled with drama it is fantasy takes you into a whole other world now this book is based on being a vampire 18 year old girl who did not know oh my god she just like stumbles into the vampire world it is kind of typical but 
that typical drama is what I crave for, which I think a lot of books on Saga gives me. So if you're looking for some dramatic vampire content, if you liked the Vampire Diaries, the original Twilight Saga, whatever it is, then I think you would really enjoy this book. An amazing thing about the novels and novellas that you get on the Saga application is that they go through a very thorough process and only then you get to read them. It also has amazing features such as dark mode, which is at night. If you get strained when you're reading in your phone, you can use the dark mode. It has different fonts for you. It has different backgrounds for you. It is completely free of cost to download. However, there are some books that you will have to buy, but the costs are very, very minimal, which is why it is the best for teenagers and young adults. Another good news is that there is a giveaway for you guys. All you need to do is read one novel, novella, or an episodic series on the Saga application and comment down below what is the one thing that you liked about the book and follow Saga on Instagram. I will leave all the links in the description. You can check it out. The winners will be announced on the Saga page on Instagram and the winner will get a voucher for a thousand bucks of Amazon. The next application I would love to recommend is Spotify. Spotify is such a useful application. Obviously, you have your music over there, which is amazing. And music is one of the pleasures of life, something you should not miss out on, no matter what your age is, obviously. But along with that, the main reason why I'm recommending it uh, to teenagers and young adults is because it also has a few audiobooks. And along with that, it has podcasts. Now, the podcast is the main part in Spotify. It has some amazing, amazing podcasts on it. If you do not like listening to audiobooks in the morning, then I think podcasts are an amazing alternative to it. Podcast is a fairly new world for me. I've always loved the concept, but I never used to listen to them. Recently, given that I want to start my own podcast, I started to listen, listen to a few of them. Earlier, I actually used to watch videos on YouTube of the podcast itself, but listening to it is a whole other experience and I really enjoyed it. When I watched podcast it was good engaging blah, blah blah all of that is amazing but listening to podcasts you don't really have to engage yourself into it it's a conversation that someone is having that you can listen to while doing something else it is an amazing way to kind of increase your knowledge in a very fun manner and spotify is the best for that obviously it is free of cost but you can also buy the yearly subscription or monthly subscription which will help you to get a few more features talking about listening to stuff the next application is cuckoo.com FM. Cuckoo is something I recently heard of. Suddenly the entire world around me started talking about Cuckoo and I was like, hold on, what is Cuckoo? Which is why I got the application and I started using it and oh my god, such commendable work. Cuckoo is a great application for again audiobooks and podcasts but the cool part about Cuckoo is that it is available in Hindi. You have book summaries of some amazing non-fiction books in Hindi available in audio format. So you just listen to it and you have other fiction stories, you have motivation, you have religion, you have politics, all sorts of things. If you like Hindi content or the one reason that is preventing you from getting all the amazing knowledge that is in the entire world of non-fiction is that they are not available in Hindi then this is an amazing amazing application for you another listening application i have for you i don't realize i have so many and all of them are like so ready to box is obviously storytell storytell is an audiobook platform that has two lakh plus book on it in multiple languages english hindi and other indian languages also there are so many audiobook platforms and obviously i love all of them i am not going to miss out on reading content in like any format possible however for me Storytel has always been one of the most cost friendly applications for audiobooks, which is why I'm recommending it to you as a teenager or a young adult because I know that we in our age need something that is cost effective. It again has a lot of amazing features. You can listen to it and put a sleep timer and it will switch off by itself. It has bookmark, you can have library, you can have listening goals. Storytel in itself is an experience for audiobooks. It's not just an application that you go to listen to books and get out of it. It's a whole world that you can explore. The collection is so good. I recently I was reading it and with us and I came to know that my physical paperback book did not have a few pages and I was dead I was dead I was like oh my god like how what am I gonna do like how am I gonna listen to it blah, 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 like so many things but it ends with us was available on Storytel and it saved me it saved me Storytel is the one application that gets money from me, from me on a monthly basis and I say this a lot I don't just spend money randomly especially on applications but this is so 
worth it i need to tell my phone at all times the next two applications i have for you are creativity related now obviously there are some amazing applications if you want to start with content creation but i don't think that you should only use these applications if you're a content creator because creating some sort of content even if you are not a content creator is a form of art that can be very very relieving and even if you don't want to like create art or whatever it is i think they're very very useful the first application is a video editor which is in shot in shot again is free of cost but you do unlock a lot of features if you do pay for it and again the charges are very minimal it is so so helpful for a content creator like me who wants to edit on the go you can edit reels you can edit even like huge videos it is amazing however even if you are not a content creator why i recommend this is because i post these monday reels on my instagram now i know it is my job okay i know but i don't have to post the monday reels on instagram it's not important for me to post them especially when like i'm creating bookish content i still do it because creating those reels or taking shots of some things that really makes me feel something on a day to day basis and then compiling it all together and editing it and making it a video just gives me a lot of peace personally so if you are that kind of a person if you do enjoy doing that it is such an amazing practice this is also a digital way of practicing gratitude for the things that you already have because when you're taking these shots and you take a shot shot of everything that is making you feel good at the end of the day you realize wow okay like there are a lot of things that do make me feel good and i love them so much obviously there's another way of writing it down and everything and i do that also but given that i love this entire concept of film making and photography and all of those things this is an amazing way for me to do it also the next application is a photo editing application which is pixart now you can edit videos on pixart and photos on inshot but i recommend video editing on inshot and photo editing on pixart pixart has some amazing features to edit pictures use it on a day to day basis or create content whatever you like it's free of cost but you unlock a lot of features if you pay for it i do pay for inshot but personally i do not pay for pixart because i don't really need that application that much and it does have a lot of features Features even without paying. Oh, another application that I can recommend, which was not in the plan, is Canva. Canva again is a great application to make creatives, where you can make posters and newsletters and uh, I don't know YouTube. Like for me, it's YouTube thumbnails and banners. So you can use Canva also for creating designs and having creatives. Go ahead, kids. You're in the digital era. It's not like we can escape it. might as well use these amazing applications and create memories that your kids will see in the future the next application i want to recommend which is so useful is habit habit is a book wo I was about to fall just now. Habit is a brilliant application that will help you to track your habits. If you are an organization like you like organized stuff and you're a freak in that area like me then this application is heaven. for you so it is so satisfying and the statistics and analytics of the application that you get to see is so good it just makes habit tracking so much more fun for people who like this organization stuff now obviously the basics are similar as a lot of applications you enter your habit you start tracking them on a day to day basis but it also allows you to see like reports of how you have done in a week how you have done in a month it will send you notifications to remind you to do something if you keep forgetting and basically track your habits in a very very fun manner so if you want to build habits my teenagers and young adults but you do not have the time to keep remembering it all the time or track it in a notebook or whatever it is in this is an amazing amazing application last but not the least i want to recommend notion which again is amazing for the people who love organizing stuff in notion you can create all sorts of documents in excel and what not to keep your entire life organized teenagers if or young adults if you have to study you can create notes on it you can share it with your friends oh by the way on habit application also you can also do buddy habiting or whatever like a buddy tracking so if you do share it with someone else then your buddy can see your habit tracking and you can see theirs so it also helps you to be very very accountable now on notion again you can also share all of these notes and documents and excel sheets whatever it is with other partners which helps you to be accountable it is amazing if you have a startup and you have all these different templates and stuff just notion just makes all this whole organizing thing like takes it to another level it is so good and so much fun and 
to top it all so satisfying to see when you have it all organized like the satisfaction is what i live for all right you guys this is it for today i really hope you enjoyed the video do participate in the saga giveaway i will leave all the links and information in the description go check it out i really hope you will download these applications change your life have fun with it i'll see you guys very very soon bye